the scalloped hammerhead shark. <coughs> oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> oh, this? I found this seashell at the beach. I've got a whole box full of seashells. If you put the seashell close to your ear, you can hear the sea. Here, listen. <coughs> it sounds just like the sea, doesn't it? <coughs> What's the matter, Hero? Hmm? I think there's something underneath the seashells. It's a fish. Look at the shape of its head. It's so weird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Katie, are you there? We found a fish with a strange looking head. Hi, Leo. That's certainly a very unusual fish you found. Can you find some information about it? Of course I can. That's great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch the fish. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information about the fish? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The fish you found is actually a young scalloped hammerhead shark. The shark gets its name from the unusual shape of its head, which looks like a hammer. The shark's head helps it to find prey. There are special sense organs spread out over the wide head of the scalloped hammerhead shark. These organs help the shark to pick up electrical signals that are given off by animals underwater. Wow! Just like a radar! So, what animals does the scalloped hammerhead shark eat? Scalloped hammerhead sharks mostly eat fish like sardines and herring, and sometimes animals like squid and octopus. Bigger hammerhead sharks even eat smaller sharks. But since the shark you found is still young, it prefers to eat small fish and shrimp. By the way, scalloped hammerhead sharks live in the warm tropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Hmm. The pond in our garden isn't big enough for the shark to swim in. We should bring the shark back to its home in the ocean. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the ocean, Junior Rangers! Ah, I see you've brought a young scalloped hammerhead shark The shark looks a little cramped in that tank There you go, little friend Much better now is it safe to swim with the shark, Ranger Rocky? Scalloped hammerhead sharks normally do not attack people unless they are threatened. However, you should still keep your distance, especially from the adult sharks. If you want to find the young shark's home, you should keep a lookout for seashores. Young scalloped hammerhead sharks prefer to live in large groups near the seashores of islands. This is because the water is shallow there which means the water is less deep. The shallow water helps keep large predators away. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a lot of ocean. And on this side is the seashore of an island. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a lot of ocean. And over there 
is the seashore of an island. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to the seashore where the water is shallow. Young scalloped hammerheads prefer shallow water because there are fewer predators. Let's go. What is it, Hero? Hey, where did the shark go? Let me have a look. I see the hammerhead shark. It's chasing shrimp underwater. Oh no, the shark is caught in the net. The net must have come from that boat over there. I think it's a shrimp trawler. What's a shrimp trawler? A shrimp trawler is a fishing boat designed to catch shrimp. Unfortunately, other marine animals are sometimes caught in the nets by accident. These marine animals are called bycatch. We've got to save our friend from becoming bycatch. Katie and Hero, you stay here and watch the jeep, okay? What do you think, Hero? Should Leo have all the fun alone? was close. Thanks, Katie and Hero. I could not have done it without you two. No problem, Leo. It was actually Hero's idea. <coughs> what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the young shark's home, just look for water by the shore. Not for a candy store or an angry boar. But look for water by the shore. I see. So not for a candy store or an angry boar, but, but look, look for, for water, water by, by the shore. shore. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young hammerhead shark's home, you have to look for water by the shore. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be water by the shore. The seashore's shallow water will make a good home for the young shark. Good luck! Is this water by the shore? No, the water here is too deep. Let's move on. What do we have here? Hmm, that's water by the shore, but there are fishing boats nearby. It's not safe for the shark to live near these boats. So let's keep looking. What about this water? There's a shore, and there's a group of young scalloped hammerheads. This must be a good place for the young shark to live. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the young hammerhead shark's home. Great work, everyone! Yay! Hooray! We found a young scalloped hammerhead shark in our garden. We learned that scalloped hammerhead sharks come from the tropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. So we went to the ocean and brought the young shark back to its home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The South African cheetah. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. I'm bird watching. We have to be really quiet and invisible 
or we'll scare the birds away. Let's see what we can find. Over there? It's an owl, and it's fast asleep. Hey, there's some movement in those leaves. I think it's some kind of cat, but I've never seen a cat with fur like that before. <laughs> How strange. This cat sounds just like a bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Are you there? We found a cat in the garden. It has spots on its fur and it chirps like a bird. Hi, Leo. That cat sure looks cute. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. All right, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our little friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So, did you find out what kind of cat it is? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The animal you found is actually a South African cheetah. And it's a cub, which means it's still young. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. The cheetah is built for speed. It has a light, slender body and long, flexible legs. But even though the cheetah is a fast runner, it gets tired quickly after chasing prey. Chasing prey? They eat other animals? Cheetahs feed on small to medium-sized animals, such as hares, birds, and antelopes. But the one you found is still a cub, so it needs milk from its mother. A mother cheetah also protects her cubs from predators and teaches them how to hunt. By the way, South African cheetahs live in deserts and grasslands in South Africa. And the one you found comes from this place. Hmm, the cheetah cub needs to be with its mother to get milk and learn how to hunt. We should return it to its home in South Africa. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the Savannah, Junior Rangers! What are you doing up there, Ranger Rocky? Illegal hunters have been spotted nearby, so I'm on the lookout for them. Up here I have a good view of the Savannah. Ah! I see you brought along a cheetah cub with you today. Make sure you watch over your little friend. Cheetahs are a vulnerable species. This means they are in danger of disappearing forever. Many cheetahs lose their homes to people who take their land to build and farm. Cheetahs are also hunted illegally for their fur. On top of that, cheetahs, especially cheetah cubs, are stolen from their homes to be sold as illegal pets. That's terrible! We'll make sure our cheetah cub stays safe. Ranger Rocky, we're trying to return the cheetah cub to its mother. Do you know where we should look? Find the cheetah cub's brothers and sisters and you'll find its mother. A mother cheetah normally has three to six cheetah cubs, which she hides in thick clumps of grass. You should look out for bushes or tall grass with the sound of chirping. Cheetah cubs make calls that sound like bird chirps. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are some thick bushes. It sounds like a big animal that goes grrr. And on this side is a lot of tall grass. It sounds like birds chirping. Do you know where we should go? Over there 
are some thick bushes with this sound. And over there is a lot of tall grass with this sound. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the tall grass with the sound of chirping because cheetah cubs sound like birds. Let's go! What? The jeep stopped working. I think the engine is overheated. We'll have to walk. Cheetah Cub! Look at those animal traps, Leo. They must be the illegal hunters that Ranger Rocky was looking for. After them! It's no use. They're too fast. If only we could run as fast as the cheetah. We can't run as fast as a cheetah, but we certainly can fly as fast as one. That's a great idea. Come on, everyone. Let's get the cheetah cub back. I can't get the cheetah cub out of the net unless we slow down. Hero, I need your help. <laughs> Gotcha, Cheetah Cub. No more hunting for these guys. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Excellent work, Junior Rangers. You've saved the Cheetah Cub and helped me catch these illegal hunters. What should we look for now? That's easy. If you want to find the Cheetah Cub's family, just look for rustling grass. Not for an hourglass or a mountain pass but look for rustling grass. I see. So not for an hourglass or a mountain pass, but, but look, look for, for rustling, rustling grass. grass. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the cheetah cubs family, you have to look for rustling grass. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the cheetah cub's family. Could the cheetah cub's family be in this grass? Hmm, there's nothing there. Let's continue. Do you see that? The grass is moving. That's a lioness. We better look somewhere else. What's this? The grass is moving and there are chirping sounds. Those are cheetah cubs, and there's their mother. This must be our cheetah cubs family. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the cheetah cubs family. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! found a South African cheetah in our garden. We learned that cheetahs are the fastest animals on land and that young cheetah cubs need to be with their mother. So we went to the savanna and brought the cheetah cub back to its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Estuarine Crocodile. <laughs> oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I just saw a big bird drop something. Do you want to help me look for it? You found it, Hero? Oh, it's an egg, but it's already empty. I wonder what was in it. What's the matter, Hero? Don't be sad about an empty egg. Ah, Hero! It's some kind of lizard. Are you okay, Hero? 
I wonder what kind of lizard this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Katie, are you there? A lizard just hatched from its egg in the garden. Hi, Leo. Wow, look at its teeth. They're tiny, but they look really sharp. Yeah, Hero already knows that. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch over our little friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find out what kind of lizard it is? Hi, Leo. As it turns out, it's not a lizard. It's a crocodile. And this one is an estuarine crocodile, also known as the saltwater crocodile. A crocodile in our garden? Wow! As a baby, it's very small, but it can grow up to five meters in length. That's huge! An estuarine crocodile must eat a lot to get to that size. The estuarine crocodile is a carnivore, which means it feeds on other animals. On almost every animal, it can even attack humans. Hmm, where do estuarine crocodiles come from? Estuarine crocodiles can be found in the tropical parts of Southeast Asia, South Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. They usually live in mangrove swamps or estuaries. A mangrove swamp is a place in the tropics where trees grow thickly along a saltwater river or sea. An estuary is an area where a river meets the sea. We should go there and return the baby crocodile to its nest. Come and join us. Good thinking, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the mangrove swamp, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a baby estuarine crocodile with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. It came from an egg that a big bird dropped in our garden. Perhaps the bird stole the egg from a nest. Estuarine crocodiles typically lay 40 to 60 eggs. If the eggs are kept at a temperature between 30 and 33 degrees Celsius, most of the baby crocodiles will be male. If the temperature is a bit higher or lower, then most baby crocodiles will be female. Unfortunately, only a few baby crocodiles will grow to become an adult. Most baby crocodiles are eaten in their first year by animals, such as large fish and birds. But as adults, these crocodiles have no natural predators, aside from humans and other estuarine crocodiles. If you want to find the baby crocodile's nest, look for a place without large fish or birds. Large fish and birds eat baby crocodiles. And remember, Always keep your distance from crocodiles. They are dangerous animals. Stay safe and good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a part of the mangrove swamp. Whoa, these birds are really large. And on this side is another part of the mangrove swamp. I don't see any animals around. Do you know where we should go? Over there, is a part of the mangrove swamp with large birds. And over there is a part of the mangrove swamp without any animals in sight. So where should we go? There, that's right. We need to go there because there are no large birds that can eat baby crocodiles. Let's go. <laughs> what is it, Hero? A sign? Oh, it's warning us that there are crocodiles nearby. I don't see any crocodiles, but we'd better be careful, Katie. 
Let's keep walking. It says here that crocodiles are very good at hiding in water. We should also avoid thick vegetation where crocodiles could hide. So, if crocodiles are very good at hiding, does that mean there might be crocodiles here, but we just can't see them? Um, there might be, Leo. Wait, where's Hero? Humans can run faster than crocodiles on land. Let's hope so, Katie. Run! Oh no, another crocodile. Let's jump on these logs in the river. These aren't logs, Katie. They're crocodiles. Yikes! There's only one way out. Everybody, it's time to fly. Oh, that was close. But what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Estuarine crocodiles lay their eggs in a mound of vegetation and mud. So if you want to find the baby crocodile's nest, just look for a mound made of twigs. Not for a basket of tasty figs, or a pen full of pigs. But look for a mound made of twigs. I see. So not for a basket of tasty figs, or a pen full of pigs, but, but look, look for a mound made of twigs. Remember, mother crocodiles guard their nests fiercely, so always keep a safe distance from the nest. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the baby crocodile's nest, you have to look for a mound made of twigs. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the baby crocodile's nest. What's that? Hmm, it's a bird's nest. Let's move on. Is this a crocodile's nest? It's a nest, but not of a crocodile. So let's keep looking. Is that a mound made of twigs? Yes, it is. It's the crocodile's nest. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found the baby crocodile's nest. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a baby estuarine crocodile in our garden. We learned that estuarine crocodiles live in a mangrove swamp or estuary. So we returned the baby crocodile to its nest in the mangrove swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 